folks. Well, the uh, last boost converter review I did on this 400 watt model seems to have gone down quite well. Um, I'm not impressed with this one, but um, I thought I'd try a review of this 600 watt model I bought at the same time. And this was actually cheaper than the digitally controlled one. The, I paid £9.49 including delivery for this one. As with the last one, we'll start off setting a 100 milliamp limit and um, we'll see what this one does when it gets some power applied to it. So, that seems to have come on. Let's um, check what we've got going on on the output there. And there we are, we've got a nice 24 volts on the output. So that's a, a good first sign. Um, right, we'll do the next test that we did on the last one. I'm going to crank down the output voltage to something lower. See if we can get the output voltage down equal with the input pretty much. There we go, that'll be the input voltage, 12.47 volts on the input there. So we'll try starting that up with a load on it now. Get our Christmas lights on. And we'll do the same on test that we did with the other one. So off, lights go out, on, lights come on at the same brightness. And indeed we have 12.33. Let's see what this thing does when we switch it on in the first place. Okay, so we saw that 400 watt one um, shot all the way up to 29 volts or so um, before it even tried to switch on. Set this into max min mode again. So, we'll see what kind of uh, kick we get on the output now. We're up to 24.06 there. Give that a few more cycles. And again. Now the fact we can't hear the meter beeping means this hasn't found a new maximum. And if we go through it says the maximum it's hit was 24.08. 24.08 as a maximum when I've asked it for 24.04 as the output voltage. I'll forgive it that, that's extremely good load regulation there. That's brilliant. Um, we'll try starting that up with a load attached. Right. Maximum mode, so we're at zero volts there. And our output comes straight on um, and we're up to 24.04 volts. And let's just uh, cycle through that again. So, perfect, and uh, just checking that, the maximum it recorded was 24.04, which is exactly what we'd asked it for. So there's basically no overshoot whatsoever, it seems, when that powers up. Um, very, very happy with that. Hasn't done anything wrong so far. Now, I did notice one other thing which I would show you, because I'm actually quite pleased about this one as well. So the advert for this on eBay says two different things. Firstly, it says it runs from 10 to 60 volts. And then if you read the actual specifications, it says it's from 12 volts upwards. And um, I had a play around with this earlier on and I discovered that it's actually absolutely spot on about 11.8 volts or so, maybe less, 11.6, there we go. But, uh, it's just totally off. The boost converter has shut down. It's not doing any silly effort. It's not attempting at 11.23 volts. It's not flickering back and forth or anything like that. And um, with just a little bit more, here we go. 11.7, 11.8, there we go. Basically, it comes on at 12 volts. Um, any lower, or a little bit lower, and we're... Uh, boost converter switches off and back up to 12 volts and we're on and it strikes me those voltages someone probably engineered that intentionally to mean that if it's running off a 12 volt lead acid battery it'll um, cut off the boost and not damage the battery as the voltage drop but this seems to have a little bit of hysteresis built in oh just got it there oh it's actually the current limit that's stopping that but um yeah, that's a uh, really, really useful voltage for it to cut out at. So next I'm going to see how far I can crank this up. Uh, this is rated up to 90 volts, up to 80 volts on the output, sorry. But um, I tried this before already and we can push past the 80 volts no problem. There we go, up 
two. And that's where we max out. 93 and a half volts on the output seems to be the max we're putting out. So I'm going to try now with a heavier load attached. This is um, a bunch of toaster wire wrapped around two bits of ceramic tile. Um, I use this as a dump load on a battery charger I've got that lets me run a discharge function. So it's basically a 2 ohm load. Um, I've rated it before and put 0 to 32 volts, 0 to 8 amps on the bottom of it. So that should be able to dump 250 watts or so of power through there. Um, this converter is rated for 600 watts, albeit it needs the right input. And I've already fiddled with the settings and set a 5 amp current limit on there. So we'll hook on the power and you can see we're pulling we're sorry we're pulling 5.2 amps at 12.6 volts we're outputting 3.6 amps at 15.9 volts currently and if I wind the uh, voltage up a bit there should be a 5 amp current limit I've set on this and there we go we've hit our current limit 5.04 amps and we're putting out well 22 volts 5 amps so that's um, just over 100 watts, 110 watts there. So I'm going to crank up the current limit. We're supposed to be able to do 10 amps on the output, I believe. So take it up to 6 amps. Oh, that sounds like it's struggling there. I can hear the inductors starting to wind there. Let's give it a bit more voltage on the input. So we'll give it a full 15 volts on the input. So there'll be a point at which we can't actually get any more out of it. And we're hitting 10 amps on the output, which... Oh, there we go, 11... No, that's the input, sorry. That's us hitting 6 amps on the output. And we're squealing inductors there, but... I mean, that's 30 volts and 6.5 amps. And I can hear the inductors squealing, and I'm probably maxing out something on it. Let's just back off that a bit on the inductors. Oh, I don't know if you can see that fuse wire is glowing red hot on there. So that's definitely hit our input current limit there. We'll um, kill that and give it a break. But um, that's very impressive. I mean, it does say it's not a full 600 watts. It's only 600 watts at the right input and output voltages. Um, it's got a... Let's see. We're a 15 amp fuse on the input. So to get 600 watts at 15 amps, um, we're looking at putting something like 40 volts into there to be able to actually pass 600 watts across it. But um, yeah, it certainly hasn't failed in what it's claimed so far. It's, uh, and we start up fine, even at that high load. We're 15.9 amps on the input, which is um, more than we're supposed to be drawing. That fuse wire's glowing red. That's just fantastic. Um, that really is excellent. It totally and utterly does what it claims. And the heat sink isn't even too hot after all of that. So this is a leftover from my what to do with the broken toaster video. Um, it's just one side of the toaster. It should pull um, 450 watts, I believe, on 240 volts. Um, however, I've got it hooked up the same here. So we're outputting 74 volts at 1.4 amps there. We're pulling in 15 volts at 8.3 amps. I was hoping to be able to get up to the 90 volts it does with no load attached, but it looks like 74 is kind of where this thing maxes out. For a step-up converter module, this one has done absolutely everything it claimed. Um, for £9.50, this one I really cannot fault. Um, I thought it might be lying about the output capabilities, about the input capabilities, it's just fantastic on all of that. It's um, doing exactly what it's supposed to. The current limit works, the voltage limit works, the um, voltage ramps up exactly to the value it's supposed to be. It switches on cleanly, it switches off cleanly. There's no weird output pulses. It, it's just great. So um, I'd give this one the thumbs up. Excellent. Cheers folks.